वेलकम इन द सेशन ऑफ रोज प्रोजेक्ट सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी माय सेल्फ यादव टी ए फ्रॉम सदगुरु गाड़गे महाराज कॉलेज कराड़ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड पॉप्युलेशन द लेक्चर नंबर थ्री हियर सी हियर द ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड पॉप्युलेशन्स let us see the adaptation adaptation is any change of the organism morphological physiological and behavioral that enables to survive and reproduce in its habitat adaptations have evolved over a long period of time and are genetically controlled desert plants these plants are known as the desert plants having their uh, characteristic features they have thick cuticle on leaf surface then presence of sunken stomata leaves modified into spines due to camp pathway photosynthesis the stomata remains closed during the day time example opuntia and the cactus etc here look here the first picture there is a opuntia and here there is a section of that particular plant having the leaf marks then uh, waxy cuticle then there is a sunken stomata here here we see the diagram of these transverse section of a leaf of that plant next aquatic plants have evolved erenchyma for buoyancy and floating leaves have waxy covering desert animals example kangaroo rat living in the desert of north america never drink water the water requires requirement is by internal fat oxidation in which water is the by product here we look here in the second picture that there is a kangaroo rat and here we see the aquatic plants as the lotus it is also able to concentrate its urine so that the minimal volume of water is lost during the excretion in a kangaroo rat then desert lizards see here in a, in the picture there is a desert lizards which keep their body temperature constant by behavioral adaptation they bask in the sun and absorb the heat when they their body temperature decreases below the comfort zone and here uh, the burrowing habit also helps to pro protect desert animals from high temperature here we see in the second uh, picture which would be also a burrowing habitat and looking the organisms which would be also uh, seen in the burrows then allen's rule allen's rule states that animals from colder climates generally have shorter ears and limbs to minimize the heat loss we see here in the picture there is a uh, animals which we also uh, seen here first that is the uh, sea lion sea lion and here there is a rabbit and he, this is one uh, rabbit then uh, in a polar seals have a thick layer of fat below the skin that acts as an insulate insulator and it also reduces loss of body heat short ears here we see in the picture the short ears and the limbs minimizes heat loss why are night blooming flowers generally white here this is the night bloom flowers we see in the picture the night white white color refract light which make them visible for pollination 
why does cactus have so many thorns here we look in that uh, picture there is a cactus which having so many thorns spines also help prevent the cactus from losing water through evaporation and for the protection then shrews and hummingbirds are rare in a polar region why the answer it have large surface area in a relation to their volume so they lose heat very fast therefore they are very rare in a polar region then decomposition the breakdown of complex organic matter into simpler organic substances is called as decomposition the steps in a decomposition having the following steps as a first fragmentation that is a breakdown of detritus into smaller particles then leaching the movement of water soluble in organic nutrients into the soil then catabolism degradation of detritus into simpler organic substance with the help of bacterial and fungal enzymes then humification accumulation of dark colored substance called as humus then mineralization release of inorganic nutrients then migrate what has what are the exactly meaning of migrate or will be known as in migration the temporary movements of organisms from unfavorable then stressed habitats to the favorable normal habitat that is a migration the migration example of migration that is a migration of birds then what is the population interaction the biological interactions are the effects that the organisms in a community have one another in the natural world no organism exists in absolute isolation and thus every organism must interact with the environment and other organisms population of two species may interact in a ways that correspond to combination of neut neutral positive and a negative these offer three combinations uh, these combinations are uh, plus plus means uh, positive as a benefited negative that is harmful and positive or will be negative that will be here are subdivided resulting in a nine important interactions and relationships then population interaction living organism interact in a various ways to form biological communities first interspecific interaction it is the interaction of population of two different species intraspecific interaction it is the interaction of individuals of the same species the interactions are all following types predation competition parasitism commensalism mutualism etc population interaction there is no natural habitat which has only one species or animals of animals or plants for any species the minimal requirement is another species as a food even a plant has photosynthetic abilities cannot survive alone it needs soil microbes to break down the organic matter in a soil and release the inorganic nutrients interaction may be intraspecific that is existing between organisms of same population interspecific that is between members of different species it occurs between minimum two organisms plants animals or a plant and a animal interspecific interaction such a interaction may be classified as a four types as a neutralism negative that will be known as in harmful positive or will or will be known as in beneficial and both positive and negative interactions even in a simplest communities many interactions exist not all may be easily seen interspecific interaction 
arise from the interactions of populations of two different species. These interactions should be beneficial, detrimental or neutral, neither harm nor benefit to one of the species or both. Here, look here, the, in the picture, there is a crocodile, uh, the second organism that is a bird. Both of these uh, are exemplified in the positive interspecific relations in between the crocodile and a bird. Then positive interactions. There, there are the some of the examples here. Mm, then uh, uh, commensalism, proto cooperation, then mutualism. Here biological interactions are of two types: as a po positive interaction, as a negative interactions. In a positive interaction, there will be uh, containing the mutualism, commensalism, proto cooperation, and in a negative interaction, there will be containing the uh, mensalism, parasitism, predation, cannibalism, competition, etc. Then proto cooperation. It is the positive interspecific uh, interaction in which both the partners are mutually benefited and increase the chance of their survival. However, the interaction is uh, not obligatory for their survivals as both can live without their interactions. Then example crocodile bird uh, enters the mouth of the uh, crocodile and feed on the paras uh, feed on the parasitic leeches by these the bird gets food and the crocodile gets rid of blood sucking parasites there will be seen uh, the picture then next population interaction interactions are here and there is a species a and species b uh, in a predation the species a which uh, is a positive interaction and species B, which is a negative interaction. Competition in a, that both of the species which, which would be negative interactions. In a parasitism, uh, one species is a benefited or will be positive interaction and another one that is a harmful, that is a negative interaction. Then commensalism, the species A, positive interaction and species B, not affected. Then amensalism, the species A, negative interaction and species B, not affected. Then mutualism, uh, species A, positive interaction and species B, positive interaction. Then mutualism, it is the interspecific interaction in which the both of the species interact uh, gets uh, benefits. Then example, lichens, then mycorrhiza, uh, the plants which are depends on insects for pollination and in a returns they give the nectar or pollen to eat then animals help the plants in a seed dispersal and in a return they give fruits to animals as a food then fig tree and a pollinator species of wasp then fig species can be pollinated by its partner wasp only then rhizobium in a root nodules of legume then next amensalism it is the one of the interspecific interaction in which one is a harm and other is a neither benefited or nor harm in that there is an example the penicillium secretes chemical penicillin which kills bacteria then unrelated species also compete for same resources example we have to uh, study earlier in a lecture uh, uh, first the flamingo and fish we will be studied here then competitive release a species whose uh, distribution is uh, restricted to a small geographical area because of the presence of competitively superior species is called competitive release the species is a found to expand its uh, distributional range dramatically when the competing species is experimentally removed then gauzes competitive exclusion principle it uh, states that two closely related species competing for the same resources cannot exist together and the competitively inferior will be eliminated by superior 
resource partially according to this it uh, if a two species compete for the same resources they could avoid competition by choosing different times for feeding or a different foraging patterns example mac arthur showed that five closely related species of warbles living on the same tree were able to coexist and avoid competition by having behavioral differences in their foraging or will be known as an hunting activities predation it is the an interspecific interaction in which predator kills and consumes prey the predator is a strong animal and prey which is a weak animal therefore one species is a benefit and other is harm look at the picture uh, in that there is a predator and a prey which will be also seen here that the tiger which will also captures the deer that is a prey and a, that is prey and here that is a predator now next like next uh, picture here we look at this uh, picture uh, then uh, organisms which will also seen here then next here predator prey then here in aquatic habitat there will be an uh, examples which are also including to that of the predation then predation is a way to transfer the energy from lower tropic level to higher tropic levels predator keeps the prey population under control otherwise prey reach very high population density and causes imbalance in the ecosystem sometimes predators are used as a biological control for pests the ladybirds are useful to control aphids and dragonflies for mosquitoes here the ladybird here the aphids then here dragonfly prey defense mechanism in that the prey species evolve very various defense mechanisms as a camouflage then uh, it also produce some produces poisonous chemicals then uh, some are very detestful as example as a uh, monarch butterfly then some have thorns like uh, that uh, acacia prey species have evolved various defense mechanisms to reduce the impact of predation certain insect species and frogs have camouflage that is cryptic coloration we look at this picture and see here the insects or will be uh, frogs look here this is a camouflage the examples then monarch butterfly is a very detestful to its a uh, prey bird it has special chemical in its body the chemical is produced during its caterpillar stage by feeding on poisonous weeds this is then look here the pictures that is a monarch butterfly then herbivores are the predators for plants that is the examples of these look at the picture the problems of predation is more severe for plants than animals as they cannot move look at the picture there is a uh, some of the organisms we see here and the they are herbivores herbivore animals which are also predators for plants see zebra horse goat about 25% of known insects are the phytophagous and feed on the plant sap here look here there is a insects which are also 
phytophagus in a nature and which will be also feeding on the plant sap. Here, look at the picture. Plants have developed certain morphological and chemical defense mechanisms against herbivores. Example, thorns in a bougainvillea and spines in a acacia. Look at the picture here. That is a bougainvillea. Then second, these are the thorns of this particular plant or will be known as an spines here. We see in the picture there is a acacia and here we look at this spines these are present in the acacia then certain chemicals produced by the plants acts for defense the calotropis produces a highly poisonous glycosides that is cardiac poison here see here that is the some of the examples we are seen here then nicotine caffeine quinine stretching opium etc are the chemicals produced by the plants against herbivores thank you